Now, international bankers have reportedly wasted billions of dollars invested by Libyan leader Colonel Gaddafi. The Financial Times says giants like Goldman Sachs were dealing with the dictator's investments when it needed to plug a hole during the crisis. Most of the money has been lost, but with what's going on in Libya, any repayment seems unlikely. RT's Daniel Bushell has more from Berlin. It's emerged that uh, Western banks have been happy to invest and work with Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi and picking up huge sums in the process. Uh, as you say, France's Société Générale was uh, advising it to make a billion dollar bet on its own shares. It told Gaddafi to make a billion dollar bet on its own shares, which then lost practically all their value by last year. Uh, Sokgen pocketed huge sums, huge fees in the process. American lender Goldman Sachs uh, made a billion dollar investment for Libya, which then lost over 98% of its value. And uh, many other Western lenders have made disastrous investments for Libya's national investment fund. Now, the interesting thing is that uh, these banks are claiming they won't have to pay any of that money back because the West's current war with Libya uh, means that Gaddafi is an illegitimate ruler. 